the Allegheny Portage Railroad. When you put a kettle of water on a hot stove, the water will boil and then turn into steam. Believe it or not, this was the power behind the Allegheny Portage Railroad, steam power. Steam engines were developed in England in the 1700s to pump water out of coal mines. They were the high tech of their time and quickly transformed mining, manufacturing, and ultimately transportation. The Allegheny Portage Railroad used steam power to haul people and cargo over the Allegheny Mountain. There were 10 engine houses, and each had two steam engines. Although we were accustomed to four, six, and even eight-cylinder engines, the steam engines of the Allegheny Portage Railroad had just two cylinders and developed 30 to 35 horsepower each. Adjacent to the engine was a firebox full of burning coal. Here, water was turned into steam, just as in the tea kettle example. A pipe carried the steam to a sliding valve. The valve sent the steam first to one side of the cylinder and then to the other, making the piston move back and forth. The piston was connected to a crankshaft that changed the back and forth motion into circular motion. This circular motion powered a complex arrangement of gears and pulleys to turn the wheels or sheaves that made the rope move that pulled the heavy canal boats over Allegheny Mountain. A single steam engine could pull a canal boat that weighed several tons up a steep hill or lowered it gently down. As with any new technology, working with steam could be dangerous. The engines ran very hot. The moving parts were in the open where people could get hurt and there were no dials, no instruments to measure the heat or the power of the steam. Engineers had to rely on experience and guesswork and sometimes they guessed wrong, resulting in dramatic boiler explosions. But they learned from their mistakes. For 20 years, the Allegheny Portage Railroad carried people and freight over the mountain barrier. It was a technological marvel powered by steam.